All right, about to wrap this uh, alternator job up. I thought I'd go over a few things. Uh, somebody addressed why I didn't just pull the uh, deck lid and the hinges off to pull the uh, fan housing off in the car. And uh, I've just never been taught to do it that way. I always just pull the motor out if I need to service the engine. Uh, pulling the deck lid off is uh, sounds easy, but that hinge and the uh, spring can be difficult to get back together properly. The uh, spring is one of the hardest things that you'll... Uh, Master on a Volkswagen. I think we had a guy at scooters that worked with us that could do it with his two fingers, but uh, they're sort of hard to get clipped back in and uh, This car is in pretty good shape and I didn't want to mess with any of the uh, Adjustments of lining the deck lid up either. That would be another concern. So Just pulled it out. It's uh, four bolts a couple wires. It's not a lot of labor and I think if you uh, actually broke the labor down to do it both ways it would probably come out really close to the same just however you prefer to do it basically so there's a lot of different ways to do things when we uh, make these videos and uh, you know uh, I've just uh, I tried it that way one time before and I, I promised myself I would never do it again so uh, this is where we're at we have the alternator installed generators removed uh, I had some questions on the wires back here you'll have a B plus wire and that goes to the uh, positive terminal on the uh, alternator. Your earth ground will go to the uh, casing on the alternator. And then your field wire, the green wire, will get plugged into the uh, spade. So we had to uh, re put new connectors on. The uh, field wire will have a uh, eyelet connector and we had to put a spade on it. We heat shrinked everything and we put a boot, insulator boot on the uh, main battery wire. Moving into the car, uh, you'll have to remove the uh, factory regulator for the uh, generator and do a little wiring back here. So we'll go over that. I have one wire left here. I figure it's a good time to uh, push the record button. You'll have these two grounds that are incorporated in the uh, mounting location on the factory regulator. For the generator, you want to reattach your grounds in the uh, stock location there with the uh, factory screws. You can just take the uh, Regulator out. This is your typical uh, Bosch regulator. You can see on the uh, bottom of this, it's been getting very hot. This is all discolored from heat. So this was a this was a good move. You can even see some smoke over here on the panel, where it's been you know making a little uh, smoky and getting on the door panel there. So this is a a really good upgrade here. So uh, what we're gonna do. Uh, you're going to have three main power wires on your regulator. You're going to have a blue wire and a green wire. You're going to connect the blue and the green together. I just put a spade on the uh, blue and plug it into the green. This is our uh, other power wires. Uh, you'll have a gray wire uh, that runs to the computer. You don't really have to hook that up. I went ahead and hooked it up just because it was there. I'm going to go ahead and set this down and light that on fire real quick. So. Give me a second here. Burn this down. And once I get this done, we can plug this in. And I'll go over what I use to connect these. Now, some guys will solder these together. They'll use a uh, house wire nuts I've seen everything but here you really this is a lot of voltage here not a lot you know it's the, the full 14 volts and these are hot wires so you want to make sure that they're well insulated you take the time to put good connectors on there and all that good stuff now this is a Volkswagen factory block here and you'll find this on the uh, 74 and later cars that come equipped with an alternator it'll be under the back seat and if you can get your hands on one of these, they're really nice because they uh, insulate the wire and eliminate any chance of having any kind of uh, hocus pocus going on. And it looks sort of clean, you know, when you look under here, ba -ba boom, there goes your light. But anyway, it looks sort of factory. When you look under here, it's not a bunch of uh, wire nuts and uh, stuff like that. So you want to make sure you connect the uh, positive wires all together. The factory connector is the best way to go. Blue to green, grounds to the original uh, mounting holes. And when we start this up, we should be making 14.5 volts. So 
A uh, typical generator is in the uh, 13 volts, so you're going to pick up a volt and a half over a generator system when you go to an alternator. So uh, it's a much better deal. So that's uh, where we're at with that. Let me get out of here. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So anyway, I think we uh, covered that in there. And uh, we'll go over the back one more time because this is pretty basic. Battery plus wire to the battery plus terminal. Uh, insulate it, put a connector on it, whatever you got to do. Uh, the earth ground goes to the earth ground. And then your field wire, you cut the eyelet, put a spade on and plug it into your uh, connector that's on the alternator. You'll have uh, three hookups on an alternator. You'll have your battery, your ground, and your field, which is a spade. And uh, that's about it for converting an alternator to a generator, or a generator to an alternator, excuse me. And uh, we had to change the uh, stand. We had to put an aftermarket uh, filler uh, cap on. The uh, old one, the nut was seized up. This happens quite a bit, so you know you probably want to, if you're going to do this, go ahead when you're at the parts store. Go ahead and buy the uh, breather piece. I didn't buy it. I figured I could get this off. But uh, it broke. And I took the nut out and the nut broke. So be careful with that. And that's what I ran into on this one. And uh, this is really the only problems I ran into. I had one of these uh, filler things on the 2110 and I pulled it off that. And put it on here so I could get this done. We'll pick up another one for the 2110. I was actually thinking of getting the uh, Berg style breather for that motor anyway. Making it a little nicer. So I have to put my uh, fresh air tube on for the air cleaner. And I think I'm about done with this one. And uh, hopefully that helps uh, some people out that had the questions on how to wire it. And the other question was why would you pull the motor out? But uh, that's why I pulled the motor out. I just prefer to do it that way. It's easier for me to uh, pull the motor out with the four bolts, the heater cables, a throttle cable and a couple wires. Then, uh, mess with that spring and try to adjust all that by myself so I'm a one-man show here so I have to do it what you know do it the way it's comfortable for you there's no right or wrong way is what I'm trying to get at uh, everybody has a procedure that they follow and uh, this is just the way that I was taught uh, we just uh, would never pull fan housing off the car uh, with the motor in the car at the shop I worked at and I guess uh, after doing it the way you do it for 15, 20 years, day in and day out, you sort of get your uh, set in your ways. So, but anyway, that's uh, a little bit of what's going on here. That's what we had to do here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off, get the uh, hose on there, put the back seat in and button this one up. So have a good day. I hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. And when you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell there so you get notifications and uh, it's very important that you hit that little bell so you get your uh, notifications normally when you hit the bell you'll see a little box pop up and you want to go ahead and check that box that says uh, send notifications and then push enter and uh, then you'll be set to go and you should get all the videos so till the next one uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for the interaction and uh, we'll see you uh, later